Hi, I'm Jason Collins, and this video shows some examples of how to apply expected utility theory. For this first example, suppose your utility function is u of x equals the log of x, and you face a gamble. You have a 50% chance of winning $10 and a 50% chance of losing $10. Assume your starting wealth is $20. So what is the expected value of this game? The expected value of this game, we use this formula. The expected value of gamble x equals the sum from i equals 1 to i equals n of the probability uh, of outcome i times that outcome i, x of i. So in this case, that equals 0 0.5 times uh, $10, 50% chance of $10, plus 0 0.5 chance of losing $10. And if we solve that, that is zero. The expected value of the game is zero. What then is the expected utility of this game? The expected utility of this game uses this usual formula, but the utility of wealth plus the gamble equals the sum from i equals one to n, the probability of each outcome i times the utility of outcome i plus plus wealth. In this case, that therefore is 0.5, the 50% chance of winning $10, so times utility of 20 plus 10, plus 0.5 times utility of 20 minus 10, that being the, the outcome if you lose the gamble. Then solving that out, 0.5 times log 30 plus 0.5 times log 10 equals 2.85. What does an expected utility of 2.85 mean? To make it tangible, we can ask what wealth would give that utility. We can therefore say that the utility of wealth, which equals log of wealth equals 2.85. That in that case, the wealth of, would equal e to the 2.85, which equals $17.30. So this gamble with an expected value of zero reduces utility by an amount equivalent to $2.70. We could also say that the certainty equivalent of this gamble is the final wealth of $17.30 or a loss of $2.70. This chart illustrates the example. On the x-axis, we have the outcomes, and on the y-axis, we have the utility. I've added points on the x-axis for the outcomes of the two gambles being w minus 10 and w plus 10. They deliver utility u w plus 10 and u w minus 10 respectively. The expected utility of the gamble is the probability weighted average of these two points. It sits on the straight dash dot dot line between those two outcomes. You can see that the expected utility of the gamble is lower than the utility of the expected value, being current wealth. Also plotted is the certainty equivalent. We can identify it as the point on the utility curve where the utility of that certainty equivalent is equal to the expected utility of the gamble. Now to example two. And again, suppose your utility function is u of x equals log of x. Here, you have an 80% chance of winning $10 and a 50% chance, I should say, 20% chance of losing $10. Assume your starting wealth is $20. What are the expected value and expected utility of this game? The expected value, again, use this equation, expected value of x equals the sum of from i equals 1 to n of pi xi. So the probability weighted uh, sum of each potential outcome. This equals 0.8, so the 80% chance of winning $10 plus 0.2 times minus $10. So the 20% chance of losing 10. In this case, the expected value equals $6. What of the expected utility? Expected utility of wealth plus this gamble equals the sum from i equals one to n of the probability of outcome i times the utility of outcome i plus wealth. Solving this out, this equals 0.8 times utility of 20 plus 10 plus 0.2 times utility of 20 minus 10, which in turn equals 0.8 times log 30 plus 0.2 times log 10, which equals 3.18. So what does an expected utility of 3.18 mean? Again, to make it tangible, we can ask what wealth would give that utility, as in utility of wealth equals log of wealth equals 3.18. 
then the wealth equals e to the 3.18 equals 24.08. This gamble with an expected value of $6 increases utility by an amount equivalent to $4.08. We could also say that the certainty equivalent of this gamble is the final wealth of $24.08. This chart illustrates the example. You can see that the expected utility of the gamble, E U of X, is higher than the utility from current wealth, but lower than the utility of the expected value. That is, they are risk averse, but would still accept this highly favorable bet. Also plotted is the certainty equivalent. We can identify it as the point on the utility curve where the utility of that certainty equivalent is equal to the expected utility. In this case, it is at $4.08 above current wealth. Now for a third example. Suppose your utility function is u of x equals log of x. And here you have a 50% chance of increasing your wealth by 50% and a 50% chance of decreasing your wealth by 40%. So what are the expected value and the expected utility of this game? Expected value again equals the sum from i equals one to n of the probability, probability weighted uh, so sum of the outcomes, which equals 0.5 times 0.6 times wealth plus 0.5 times 1.5 times wealth. So 0.6 wealth is minusing that 0.4 wealth and 1.5 wealth is adding that 0.5 wealth. That in turn equals 0.3 wealth plus 0.75 wealth, which equals 1.05 W. So the expected value of the gamble is 5% of your wealth. The gamble has a positive expected value. The expected utility, again, we use this formula, expected utility of wealth plus the gamble equals the sum from i equals one to n of the probability of i times the utility of each outcome plus wealth. In this case, that equals 0.5 times utility of 0.6 wealth plus 0.5 times utility of 1.5 times wealth. And here we, 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 can, we can break this up using uh, rules of probability where the, uh, util the log of a uh, sum equals the log of each of those elements individually. So that equals 0.5 times log 0.6 plus 0.5 times log wealth plus 0.5 times log 1.5 plus 0.5 times log wealth, which in turn equals ultimately uh, log wealth minus 0 0.053. So here we have a gamble with a positive expected value, 5% of your wealth, but lower expected utility than if you rejected that gamble. Someone with log utility would reject this bet. This chart illustrates the example. I've added points on the x-axis for the outcomes of the two gambles, a 40% reduction in wealth and a 50% gain in wealth. The expected utility of the gamble is the probability weighted average of those two points. It sits on the straight dash dot dot line between those two outcomes. You can see that the expected utility of the gamble is lower than the utility of current wealth. They would reject an offer of this bet. <laughs>